Shalom. All praise is going on to Yahweh. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakakudash. Which is all praises to the Most High. His true name is Yahweh. Um, in the name of His Son, whom the world ignorantly and stubbornly calls Jesus. His true name is Yahweh Shai. Rakakudash means Holy Spirit in the Holy, uh, Holy Hebrew language. Double honesty to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well through the scriptures. Honorable mention to the brothers uh, prophesying in diligence in the hopes of being saved. Peace to the elect. I'm doing a response video to the El Dayas of uh, the GMS Indiana camp. All nations will be subject to Israel. Israel being the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. And that's true because the Lord says so according to the Bible. That's in the scriptures. All nations will be subject to Israel. Because when you read the Bible, the Lord, he gives the kingdom to whom he to whom he will. All right? And the scriptures say that. And he and he's gonna end it by giving it to uh the Israelites. But let me get this first in um Daniels. It says uh or is it two Hold on, Salaki. King of men. Men. Oh, four and twenty five. Oh, okay. Four and thirty-two. That's one, two. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to see all the ones. Oh, four and seventeen. This the one I want. Salakia, Daniel four and seventeen. This matter is by the decree of the watchers. Who are the watchers? The prophets. Those standing on their watch, telling you what's going on, and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know. That the Most High ruleth in the kingdom of men, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and set it up over it, the bases of men. And we let the watchers let you know that. Look, the Lord gave the kingdom to the bases of men. Who is that? The low, the low, lowliest of station, because with the so-called white man ruling, the world has been in its lowest shape, form, on every level, whether it be physically. You know, spiritually, mentally, the the energy, the vibration that the so-called white people put out is uh, anti-life. All right, that's why the Lord. But but hey, the Lord put him up in power. All right, and then the Lord gonna put up us in power. All right, this is a uh, Sirach. Oh, Sirach, yeah. This is Sirach chapter ten. I believe it's verse four. It says, yeah, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he will set over it one that is profitable. And who is that? The Israelites. He going to set the uh, the Israelites over it. And why is it going to be profitable? Now the earth ain't profitable. Because he set who up? The basis of men, the lowliest of men. Look at the, the, the plants. Look at plant life. Look at animal life. Look at the oceans. Look how everything's dying. Everything is just dying. People are um people are working more. All right, all these diseases out here based off the way the earth being treated, the way the earth being taken care of, the way natural resources being used. Everything is being used for destruction instead of being used for life. All right? So it says the power, Sirach 10 and 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, he was set over it, one that is profitable. Why is it going to be profitable? Because the earth is going to be ruled in righteousness. All right. When the earth ruled, in, when the earth ruled in righteousness, everything is, that's the proper balance. That's the proper flow of things. All right. It's like yeah, this is a scripture in Peter. Uh, mm. 
Oh, Salakia. I'm sorry, I, I typed in Righteous uh, Kingdom. But it's uh, actually uh, a new heaven and a new earth in where dwelleth righteousness. That's what it, That's how you, what it is. Oh, yeah, this is 2 Peter 3 and 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Now, I say according to his promise. Now, what was the promise? The promise was that the Israelites would be set up on high above all nations. That's the contract we had with the Most High if we served him and obeyed him. All right? So that's a part of the promise that all these other nations are supposed to serve us. It says, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So when the new heavens, which represents the new rulership, and the new earth is not, it's not literal, it's going to be created all over again. All right? Because the scripture says, what? The earth abideth forever in the Ecclesiastes. But it's saying it's going to be a, it's, it's, it's going to, basically a new sheriff in town, man. You know, you know the old phrase, the new sheriff in town, somebody come in and he just flip everything upside down. We're going to flip everything up. Well, we're going to flip everything right side up. And righteousness is going to dwell in there. And the earth is going to be profitable because Yahweh Shai is going to be ruling. And the, uh, uh, it's going to be Yahweh Shai, the, uh, the elect, all right, and the Israelites, and we're going to rule in righteousness. So this is uh, Psalms, the second chapter. That's the, it goes back to the Ecclesiastes to be set up one that is profitable. Uh, Psalm 2 and 6, it says, Yet have I set my king upon my holy hill of Zion. Zion is, it represents Israel. Says, I will declare the decree. Yahweh have said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. That's talking about Yahweh Shai, the son of the Lord. It said, Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance, and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So inheritance basically means something that belongs to you. All right? You, you above this, you rule over this. All right. Thou shalt break them with the rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Who is the them? The them is the other nations. See, because it's you. You go. We, there will be dominion over other nations. It's always been like that. This is wisdom of Solomon three and eight. It says they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people, and the Lord shall reign forever. See. So that's what's going to happen. It, uh, it's going to be, and you don't have dominion. It's, see, all you people with that, with that Christian belief who think that God loves all nations, any nation can be saved. We just read that, okay, before I get to that point, let's get some New Testament scriptures on that same um, issue. Because that's what it's about. It's about Israel, man. This is Acts chapter 1 and 6. It says, When they therefore were coming together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? They're inquiring, will the kingdom be restored to Israel? Because that's in the promises. That's in the word of the Lord. The Lord said that. And that's when everything going to be right. Because this, what's going on now, this ain't right. Israel at the bottom, but we just serving out of captivity. All right? But it's all through the scriptures. The Lord promised that Israel, we was going, we was going to reign, we was going to rule forever. When you read the prophets, man, even when, you know when you go into the um, the first five books and everything, man. So that's why they was in crying out of the Lord. But then when you go over to uh, Revelations, see, just Revelation, and then Revelation thirteen and nine, which we bring out a lot at Great Millstone. A lot of Israelite camps, it says, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. This is the faith and patience of the saints. Then when you go to Jeremiah, it says, Every one of thy adversaries shall go into captivity. And when you read the Bible, all these other nations are our adversaries. Either they, either they put us in slavery for a period of time or they co-conspired. And they got to pay for that. All right? Whether you want them to pay or not, the Lord, the Lord is righteous. 
Revelation um, 2 and 27. It says, And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. See? And he shall rule them with the rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So Yahweh Shai received it of his father, right? We just read that in Psalms 2 and 6. You read, he said, I will declare the decree. Uh, the Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. All right, I will ask of me, and I will give thee the heathen uh, for thine inheritance. Going down from, uh, you know, Psalm 2 and 6 on down to 7. So what? He said, if he going to do it, if you overcome, he going to give you the same power, even as he received of his father. So he got the power to rule over the nations. Them that overcometh going to rule over the nations, which is the elect. And then what? Eventually, Israel, the rest of the nation of Israel, the two-thirds that's not going to make it on this side, they going to overcome when they be reborn again with the, um, with the statutes, laws, and the commandments uh, within them. It went downloaded within them where they where they gonna be perfect where where all the Israelites are gonna be perfect so what that fulfills the scripture that thus all Israel shall be saved and what all Israel gonna overcome so all Israelites are gonna rule over the other nations in the kingdom of heaven all right it says uh I got another one this is Isaiah fourteen and two. It says, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place, and the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over our oppressors. All right? You got the, uh, the, the, the Arab selling you bullshit GMO chicken. Cigars, pork, you know what I mean? Then you got the Chinese selling you uh, whatever, wigs, T-shirts, draws, you know what I mean? These people are uh, getting very high above us, and we're getting very low beneath them. <laughs> and they oppress us. They, they oppress us. Then when you work for them people, they don't pay you a proper wage. All right? Mistreat you, disrespect. Come on, man. All right. Oh, and the point I was gonna get to earlier for you the Christians that would say, uh, what do you say? Oh, you that believe that the Most High deals with all nations and any nation could be saved. That wouldn't make sense because we read scriptures that spoke about nations gonna be in slavery. So you mean to tell me, an Israelite that believe in the Lord gonna have dominion, and one that don't believe in the Lord gonna be in slavery in the King of the Heaven, in the, uh, the King of the Heaven, in the Kingdom of Heaven? You mean to tell me uh, a so-called Chinese man that believe in the Lord going to be saved and he going to be ruling over a, 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 a so-called Mexican when the Mexicans are Israelites in the kingdom of heaven? No. This is uh, Leviticus chapter 25, verse 44. It says, both thy bond men... And thy bondmaids, which thou shalt have, shall be of the heathen that are round about you. Of them shall ye buy bondmen and bondmaids. That's just talking about servants, basically slaves, man. Okay, moreover, of the children of the strangers that do sojourn among you, of them shall ye buy, and of their families that are with you, which they begat in your land, and they shall be your possession, and ye shall take them as an inheritance for your children after you, to inherit them for possession, they shall be your bondmen forever. But over your brethren, the children of Israel, you shall not rule over. You shall not rule one over another with rigor. So we know you got to rule over our, over our uh, brothers with rigor. Ain't no Israelites gonna be ruled over with rigor. That was that was then, now, and in the kingdom of heaven, according to the law. That's how it's supposed to be. But due to the curses. You know, we, we, we cursed at this present moment. But you other, it says the heathen roundabout, all you other heathen, y'all going to be our bond men and bond women forever and forever and forever. And in that first thousand years, it's going to be much more rigorous than the rest of eternity. But 
our own people, ain't no Israelite going to be ruled over with rigor in the kingdom of heaven. And with that, Lord willing, this was the edifying lesson to the hopeful elect. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Shalom.